I'm Kate, and I think you could be more confident. I'm here next to Tower Bridge in London. I'm at the NHS Disability Summit, and I'm chatting to some of the greatest, brightest individuals who are leading the march when it comes to disability inclusion across the globe. Confidence is a complex thing. We've heard about it before in terms of a top-down policy and procedure approach to change. But that's only ever going to get us so far. Was that it? Ben Hopwood has more. Just... Well, I'm bitterly disappointed. We're now seeing a sea change in the number of people developing inner confidence. We are witnessing the brave introspection of disabled people themselves. This is driving more honest, more progressive, more sophisticated conversation. And today, as luck would have it, I am surrounded by experts in their field. And they've all got something to say about what inner confidence means to them. Inner confidence to me is having the courage to be comfortable with the uncomfortable. Inner confidence to me means that I can declare at work that I have a mental health disability, that it doesn't impact my work and that I'm supported. It means that I can bring my true self to work. Not just having difficult conversations, but let's ask the really awkward questions that make the organisation step back a bit and think, yeah, maybe we need to do something about that. Let's do something about it. Confidence is contagious. If I don't believe in myself, I can't really expect anyone else to. Confidence is the key challenge for disabled people because unfortunately our benefit systems are designed around fear. So for me, the most transformative thing that's ever happened is having total confidence and belief in myself that I'm able to do anything um, as a disabled person. Inner confidence and disability confidence means to have the space to be yourself, the space to be able to share, the space to be able to just be you. Purple Space searched far and wide for the best definition of confidence and that led us to the esteemed steps of Harvard University. According to them, and now also us, the definition of confidence is a strong expectation of a positive outcome. So can you learn how to be confident? Well, Purple Space have launched new guides on practical, implementable, real-world tips to help you to expect the positive. Those guides will be rolling out to our extended network of over one million people with disabilities. The new year is already underway. As you can see behind me, time is already flying fast. Hope it's a positively purple year for you. So now that you know how Harvard University and I define confidence, what does this mean to you?